What's up, y'all? Welcome back to your mandatory Zoom meeting. I'm your host, Travis Scott. Abel Tesfe is a Canadian singer, songwriter, actor, and record producer. He has released four studio albums, Kissland, Beauty Behind the Madness, Starboy, and the project we are going to look at today, After Hours. I was never that into Abel. I was listening to Starboy, you know, a little bit, trying to get, get a feel for what he was bringing to the table. And, uh, you know, I saw potential in uh, something that I could really enjoy. And I indeed think that After Hours is that potential realized. And I think it's interesting the rollout that he's been doing lately with the whole 80s theme and the the whole, like, dropping, uh, dropping the whole thing, then dropping a deluxe, and then dropping more songs. It's interesting. I'll give him that much. Giving me a lot of things to do hanging out in quarantine. And th- if you're here in quarantine, drop, drop a like. Drop... Drop a life core to you. <coughs> I, when I first saw the image, uh, I really liked the cover, but it's just a picture, you know. You can't really, can't really do much for it. Ha <laughs> ha! But then he dropped the deluxe version. Ha <laughs> ha! Boys, we eating good tonight. I like it. It's really cool, but it does give me flashbacks. It reminds me of the uh... oh, fuck. It's Uncle. I forget what one it is. It reminds me of the uh, the Uncle album, War Stories. They're kind of similar. Not. A whole lot similar but in style and color you know nonetheless i wanted to i wanted to come back because i haven't done an album cover video in a little bit after the vinyl video with something that with some straight fire i want to come fuck i wanted to come back with some straight fire so that's hopefully what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you how to make this not extremely difficult not something that's gonna take you a bunch of hours but it's something that's just complex enough to make people think how did you do that but it's just easy enough to you know, not to be a cakewalk for you. That's what we're all about here at the Bucket of Jake channel. So, without further ado, all right. So first things first, import your image. I'm just using the regular image because the deluxe is just the regular album cover with all the designs on it. You can do this with any picture. I'm doing it with I'm doing it with the regular After Hours cover. All right. So next, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take the ruler tool. Make sure ruler tool is selected, by the way. And then make sure that you go to about 50. I usually do my covers 100, like 1,000 by 1,000. If you do 2,000 by 2,000 or whatever weird number you pick, just make sure, just divide whatever it is by half. And that's how you figure out what it is. And then make sure it's right in the middle of the album cover. And then what you're going to want to do is select the, the right half of the cover. Copy cut you know same shit and then you're gonna have two separate sides you have the one side that you can edit freely and the right side that you can edit freely we're gonna start on the left side i adjusted some contrast and stuff you don't have to do that but you know i did it if you want to be a little specific and then we're gonna want to do is go to everyone's favorite tool gradient map i use the two colors it's like a dark green and you know a very bright red and then I did that for the gradient map on the left side and then you know just adjusted some contrast and stuff and you've pretty much got the left side and now the right side this is where the fun comes in right, so duplicate your layer so that you have an untouched layer below the one that we're gonna fuck up is gradient map this one as well but who fun fact there's a little button there that says reverse click that boom it looks all weird now so you can adjust you know how much black you want in it how much red as you see me doing here and then you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, you know, however you want to do it. I mean, it's up to you, bro. And then what you're going to want to do, you're going to make sure that the bottom layer is visible. And then you're going to want to change the top layer to lighten. I believe it's lighten. Hang on, I don't want to be spitting false information. And then you're going to want to change the top layer to lighten so that you have this nice little effect of like the blacks have turned clear so you can see the bottom image while the reds are still prominent. And then after that, you know, adjust some uh, brightness, adjust some contrast. It has a little bit of grain. So what I do, I combine all the images together, duplicate the layer, and then, you know, uh, create into one image. And then I go to the noise filter, add a, add a wee bit of noise, not too much. You don't want it to be too crazy. And then after that, uh, you're pretty much done. You could adjust saturation if you want it to be more colorful, you want it to be less colorful, you want it to be brighter or less brighter. But I like how it turned out here. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. Gradient map has definitely become a very, very important thing to graphic design and like amateur graphic designers because it allows you to do cooler. Fuck, I keep hitting the mic. It allows you to do cooler stuff with you know less work, which I'm always I'm always behind. 
like when I get commission work for uh, album covers, because I design album covers uh, on the side as a, as a side hustle, if uh, <laughs> y'all want to hit me up, <laughs> they, they ask me for stuff and I say, I probably can't do that. Like inserting like realistic images and I'm like, A, I don't, I'm probably not gonna be able to afford the copyright to that and B, I don't know how good that's gonna look. Like just creating some, like creating a actual picture from pixels, that shit's hard. So stick to stuff that you know it will look good. Don't make it look like shit. <laughs> oh my God, I just snotted. Holy shit. I don't have Corona. I really don't. Don't, don't fear for me. I'm okay. It's allergy season. A lot of people are gonna be having allergies. I'm pretty sure I don't have Corona. Runny nose, I'm pretty sure is not Corona. So I'm okay. Damn, I've gotten really off topic. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for the warm reception that my vinyl video got. Thank you to all the people that I was uh, conversing with in the comments, like this guy. You know what? No, I'm not doing that meme. I'm gonna say I'm a, I'm call, I'm calling him out by name. Shout out to the Vinyl Guru. Shout out to Maximus Gomez. Shout out to Annie Vintage. And shout out to Grant Cruels. Thank you for commenting. And uh, about the giveaway, I don't know when this is coming out because I used to have the upload schedule of every Friday, but I'm I'm kind of dialing that back. Because, you know, sometimes sometimes th there's a dry spell. I don't want to force myself to make an album cover from, like, 1987 to stay relevant. Shut up, I'm making a video. I did, a v I did my vinyl collection video. I'm already starting to get new vinyls. I already have more coming. I already have more. So in a few months, I'm going to make another one. So, all right. Thank you for watching. I'm rambling. Stay safe. Please stay inside. Wash your fucking hands. God, God damn it, wash your hands. People, people don't wash their hands after they wipe their ass. You fucking animal. You absolute beast. Just fucking wash your hands. Stay inside, wear masks, wear gloves. Thank you, and have a pleasant day.